Hello and welcome to this Linked POS training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the barcode designer in Linked POS. Linked POS offers a comprehensive solution for designing barcodes. To open up the barcode editor, head on over to items and choose an item. Since I don't have any items in Linked POS, I'll be adding an item just for this example. To add an item, click on the screen plus sign in the top left corner. Since we're talking about the barcode designer, I'll be cutting straight ahead to that part. Here, click on this print button. This will open up your previously designed barcodes. You can choose a barcode and hit OK. This barcode will be selected and applied to the item. If you want a custom made barcode, click on this new option. Give it a name and hit OK. A window will appear asking you to enter the price of the item. If you're designing a new barcode, leave this empty and hit OK. This will open up the barcode editor. This is a unique and simple solution offered by Linked POS. The barcode designer is divided into two main tabs the Design and Preview tabs. The Design tab is the tab where the barcode is designed. The Preview tab is where you can preview how the barcode will appear. Let's start off with the Design tab. This tab is divided into five main parts. The Main Toolbar, the Field Properties, the Label Controls, the External Fields, and the Canvas. Let's start off with the Canvas. This is where the label you're designing will appear. This is where the magic happens. This whole area is your label. You can drag and drop different components onto this canvas. The canvas is measured in inches, and its dimensions can be changed from the Label Properties section. You can also change the background color of the canvas using the Back Color option. A border can also be added by changing the border size. Leaving the border size at zero will display no border. You can also change the border style by choosing the different styles available. The border color can also be changed using this border color option. Moving on to the main toolbar, this toolbar can be used to place static components onto your label. This means that they will not be dynamically changed. We'll talk more about this when we get to the external fields section. Let's get started. The save button can be used to save any work you're doing. It will be saved directly into linked POS. Next up is the pointer button. This button can be used to select back the pointer after choosing other options. Then we have the lines option. This option can be used to place any lines onto the canvas. You can place horizontal and vertical lines. To place a line onto the canvas, choose the line and click on the canvas. Note that as you place components onto the canvas, they appear in this label control section. Components placed on the canvas can be individually micromanaged from this section. The properties of the line, such as its dimensions, color and style can be changed from the properties section on the right hand side. Next up is the text option. You can choose this option to place text right onto the canvas. Next up are the rectangle and oval options. These are placed in the same way as the horizontal lines by choosing and clicking on the canvas. Next up, we have the image option. This can be used to import images such as your logo to put onto the label. Then we have the barcode. This is a static barcode. This means that it will not be updated at runtime. Next is the print button. This can be used to print the barcode. This will be used in conjunction with the Preview tab. Note that all the fields in this toolbar can be edited using the Properties section. Finally, we have the External Fields section. The components of this section are independent of any individual item in Linked POS. They will automatically pick the item code, name, and prices from the original form or the information saved in Linked POS. This is the difference between, for example, the item code from this section and the Static Toolbar section. The barcode from the Static Toolbar section will not be changed at runtime. To add components from this section, choose the component and drag it onto the canvas. When you drag and drop the item code onto the canvas, it will appear as a field. To change it into a barcode, head on over to the Properties section and change the type to a barcode from the Content Field type. You can change its dimensions, borders, colors, fonts, and much more from the Properties section. The same goes for the item name and prices from the Dynamic External Fields section. That should cover everything for the Design tab. Now let's talk about the Preview tab. This tab can be used to preview your barcodes before printing. The Properties section on the right can be used to adjust the printing properties. The first option lets you choose the printer detected by the system. The second option lets you pick the paper size that's compatible with the printer. In the next options, you can change the top, bottom, left, and right margins by changing their respective values. The next fields allow you to choose how many rows and columns of the barcode you want. The next options can be used to change the vertical and horizontal spacing in between the columns and rows. Once 
done, hit print, and this will print the barcodes. Or, you can hit save and exit this window. When you go back to the window where you choose the barcodes from, you will see your barcode there. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below.